Oh, careful. We want to make it in one piece. We do. I didn't suggest the route. Just keep driving. I know it seems to go on forever. Just trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. I'm excited to see it. Mm, me too. I haven't been here in so long. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know. I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I hope you like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. And, and thank you for asking your father. I know this is a big thing. <laughs> well, I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. Oh, uh, do, you, do you think he'd disapprove? Not exactly, no. Well, he is very old-fashioned, but... Well, thank you for coming along. Well, in, in, inviting me and coming along. Oh, no. I mean, without me, who'd you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. So you're running away with me? Stop it. This is purely professional, isn't it? We could run away. Ditch the paper. Live in the woods. You are being presumptuous, aren't you? No, I'm here to help. You'll need help with the equipment and recording all the data, all that. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. I'd build us a shelter, be the man of the woods. Oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. I'm telling you, I could do that. Just be the kind of man who remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. I hope this isn't a big mistake. in Washington over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty were in deadlock last night, with Soviet Russia threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The president described the Russians as playing a lethal hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war.
There's no one here either. Don't you worry now, Pete. We're here for you. Your father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word, too. Such a big boy now. What happened today? It's not your fault. I just want you to know that. These boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. Don't you listen to them, all right? All right. Here he is. You sleep well. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be nice. <clears throat> He's still awake? He is. No more tears, eh? No, no. He's... He's settled. Go on. It's all right. We'll be fine. Well, if you're sure. Good night, Pete. Night. Oh, Peter. What are we going to do with you? Your mother won't like me saying this, but it's true. You've got to learn to stand up for yourself. Next time, you hit them back. You hear me? An eye for an eye. That's what I've always said. Better still, if you see it coming, you get in there first. I know it sounds hard, but life's hard. Best to learn that now rather than later, eh? There. No, I don't want to hear another word. Got a long day tomorrow. So not another peep, all right? Good boy. See you in the morning. No more tears. Oh, kids, so I have to just grow out of it. 
You're quite soft. He just hasn't learned yet, that's all. I learned it. Wait, what's that? It's nothing. Anything. It's not nothing. I told him I didn't want another bed, and I didn't want to hear another beat. Red, don't! What the hell are you doing out of bed? I wasn't. Don't lie to me, Peter. What did I say? What did I say before I left? No more tears. And no more sound, I said. So why are you disobeying me, eh? You are in serious trouble tomorrow! Good night, Pete. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>